hey guys welcome back to the channel hope you all are doing good so today's video topic is if windows 11 not detecting external hard drives in this video we are going to fix this so let's start the video the first thing you can do is try with a different usb port or try with a different usb cable but if you are still getting the same issue move on to the next step right click on this windows icon then click on this option disk management click on it so this will show you all the connected drives you have in your system so as you can see this is my internal hard drive okay and this is my external hard drive which is showing in disk management but it is not uh, showing here as you can see now to fix this issue what you have to do is in your disk management first you have to give a drive letter to your external hard drive as you can see this is a drive letter c d so you have to add a drive letter so right click on it then click on change drive letter and path then click on add now you have to select any drive letter okay you can select anyone click on ok and in this process all your data in your external hard drive will remain safe there will be no data loss in this process now you can see here my external hard drive is now showing but if you are still getting the same issue or your external hard drive is showing as unallocated for example like this unallocated you will face this issue because of corrupted and missing partition table to fix this issue you have to format this drive and one important thing when you format this drive your data will delete if you have any data in your external drive right click on it then click on new sample volume then click on next click on next now you can also assign a drive letter then click on next and here you can see so this will format your external hard drive click on next click on finish when you format any drive your data will also delete okay so now if i check you can see my external drive is now showing here move on to the next step if you are still getting the same issue now we are going to check our usb drivers so right click on this windows icon then click on this option device manager and this will show you all the drivers you have in your system now you have to click on this option universal serial bus controllers expand this option and this will show you all the usb drivers you have in your system now first you have to update all the usb drivers by right click on it right click on it then click on update driver then click on search automatically so this will update your usb driver so you have to do the same thing and update all the usb drivers by right click on it then click on update driver first update all the usb drivers after updating all the usb drivers click on this option disk drivers expand this option and this will show you your external hard drive right click on it then click on update driver click on search automatically so you have to update your external drive external hard drive and all the usb drivers now after that cut this window and restart your system move on to the next step if you are still getting the same issue again open device manager so right click on windows icon then click on device manager now click on this option universal serial bus controllers expand this option now you have to right click on the first usb driver then go to properties now click on the last tab power management and now you have to uncheck this option allow the computer to turn off this device to save power so you have to uncheck this option then click on ok and now you have to do the same thing with all the usb drivers for example right click on it go to properties then go to power management uncheck this option then click on ok so you have to apply the same method with all the usb drivers after that restart your system and check the final step you can do is update your operating system so for this you have to click on this windows icon then click on this settings option now on the left side click on windows update after that on the right side click on check for updates so 
update your operating system as well. So these are the few steps you can try. This is all for the video. Thank you.